Hey everyone, welcome back again. So, uh, by the title of the video, we're gonna get this uh, little 302 here fired up this evening for the first time. So if you haven't been following the channel before, uh, this is a roller, 87 to 93-ish Mustang short block that I imported from the States. And it's nothing really too cosmic about the build. It's just a uh, rebuilt short block with a uh, 20 thou over hypertectic pistons. It has an F303 cam in it, GT40P heads, which have been ported. I got a Edelbrock Torque 2 intake, Holly 600 carb, you know, dressed up like an early 289 because I'm going to try to sell this engine over here in the UK to uh, somebody with an earlier vintage Ford or Mustang or something like that that's doing a, a repower or a 600 to V8 conversion. And this is going to be, you uh, probably won't get a better engine than this over here. So pretty much everything you're looking at is new or refurbished. And it's not like a, a lot of things you see over here where it's a, you know, a Krylon rebuild with some, with some fancy valve coverage or something put on it. If you haven't seen it before, this is my run stand. So I built this uh, during COVID when it was all quiet and I could just run out. I just... I had all the, the measurements from bought like blueprints off of eBay off a guy for like eight bucks. Cause I was trying to design one and uh, <laughs> I was like, the heck with this. I was like, somebody else has got to have plans for one of these things. Got the steel, you know, cut the size and things like that best I could. Cause over here it's all metric. So I had to do the conversions. And I built myself an instrument panel. Got all them as D box. If you want to use it, got a wide bed, no two meter if you want to use it. Oil, water, tack, ignition fan, alternator, power, charge for me. And uh, you know, we got a fan we can run. Got coil. Right now we have the MSD hooked up because this distributor is like from an 85 uh, 5 liter GT. So it's got a steel gear on it until I can get a good steel gear for the, uh, the original style of distributor to put on there when it fits. And you never hooked up a <laughs> MSD box to a, a DuraSpark distributor. You know, it's just two wires going in the connector. I mean, DuraSpark is the same thing that's inside MSD distributors. So the, their pro billet ones or anything, you think they're, they're cosmic and racy. Well, it's a nice billet housing, but the guts are just for stuff. So nothing crazy about it. Alternator should be hooked up. And when I flip the switch, it should charge the battery. You know, I got a T5 bell housing mounted here. There's a, a manual transmission flywheel on there right now. And uh, we're going to get this thing fired up. So do a little bit of carb tuning, set the timing. And uh, hopefully it won't annoy the neighbors too bad. So uh, Pete and John will be here in a few. And we will get cracking. Be right back. <laughs> All right. Uh, bone cold first start. Uh, I got the timing light standing by i did crank it a bit earlier let's crank it well i don't want to fill it with fuel so power on oh air fuel ratios live let's crank it for a bit to get oil pressure up to 30 psi up to 30 psi he's taking the piss now yeah he's making funny <laughs> mine makes more on cranking than you <laughs> does running this <laughs> was doing something with the crank so all right ignition's on That's advancing it a lot. <laughs> they killed it. Now, I can't hear anything. That thing is whisper quiet. Yeah. So I need to. Oh, the sound of a V8. Yeah. So Instantly uh, moaned at me about the oil pressure. 
I think I might just cut this off and take it. Oh, yeah. uh, even a little fuel. start button please
lid's open now. So we had a nice time on Wednesday getting this thing running. But uh, unfortunately, footage cut out because of my awesome uh, this GoPro 10 that I'm uh, using still. But I think I'm going to have to upgrade my camera here soon because it's just, this one's just getting frustrated. But uh, yeah, this thing is really running good. Uh, I got to admit, other than I need to do some work on the carburetor, which I'll show you here in a bit because uh, it just won't stop surging. <laughs> and I've done everything I can possibly do, I think, to remedy it. I think it was just a used carb. They sold it for a multitude of reasons, and uh, I'll get to that in a bit. But yeah. Let's fire this thing up. It's still a little warm. I got the garage door open. You can hear all the traffic driving by in the street. Unfortunately, but stick with me. So, got power. I had that bypass because the switch is, you know, Chinese and it even feels crappy. It died. So, ignition power's on. Let me give it a little bit. oil pressure again still just slightly warm not fully warmed up yet but this is what i think is wrong with the carburetor it just won't stop surging but give it a little bit of gas and it smooths right out Get out here the exhaust. So yeah, it's running super nice and quiet, no clatter or noise at all. But I just can't get this little surge out. It's not the distributor. It's not ignition timing, it's ported vacuum advance. Sitting there right at about 14, 15 degrees right now. <laughs> I've gone around the houses, taken the carburetor apart. I've even taken the uh, the plugs out of the metering wells, cleaned it all out, new floats, new power valves, new gaskets, checked everything multiple times, and I'm just at a loss at the moment. But uh, yeah, a nice sweet little runner. See. Lean and rich, then lean and rich. I haven't checked the piece of eval. Completely plug it up, doesn't change anything. It's got a strong vacuum, man. I got to put a gauge on it. I get this carburetor figured out I don't know if I want to get a whole new you try another metering block in it which I think is the problem because there's nothing else the floats are good everything else is good and but uh, yeah it runs really great other than this little surge but we're gonna annoy the neighbors and the wife So, yeah, <laughs> it's so close, but until I get that idle surge figured out, uh, it won't be ready to go. But yeah, just get some more runtime on it soon. I got some, uh, got some plans on the way. I got a buddy in the States. He's got a bunch of old car parts. He's going to send me some stuff. He's going to, because initially when we got it going, when Pete and John were here, it was leaking out of this like Welsh plug. 
but it's not leaking anymore. I don't know what the why it stopped. I don't know if there's a rubber seal in there that just needed to get a little bit of a fuel on it for a bit, or if it's just wedged down tight over the metal. I don't know, but <laughs> it was squirting out of there pretty hard the other week, but it's dry as a bone now, so I, <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. So, uh, yeah. But that's it for now, guys. Kill some time on a, on a weekend for you, so thanks for sticking around. I'll catch you later. Um, are you get, have you already done an intro? I have. Well, I, no, yeah, I, we already kind of did something. <laughs> what we got here? So. Have yeah. you done something? Have yeah. You? Oh, you did it without me. That bastard. So. <laughs> <laughs> the mic's working. Oh uh, yeah, there should be. There should be. See the mic. Hello, right. hello. I, my eyesight sucks. The green bar at the bottom's going. Yeah. Yeah. So Pete, go ahead and do it again. Hello. Yep. And Mike. Hello. Yeah. Douchebag. This was weak though. All right. Yeah. <laughs>